Well, I thought I'd do a little video in here because uh, I've already caught two bass out of that, off that little point of the weeds right there. Both of them about two pounds. And what I got on is a, uh, this is a uh, number one Gamakatsu g lock worm hook, offset worm hook. And then I have a four inch zoom lizard. This is a dark green pumpkin with black specks. And then I have a, a 732 or that's a quarter inch cone. And then up here I have an indicator. Now I'm fishing with about to, oh, I think I'm fishing two or three X. It don't make a difference. But uh, now this is real, real simple. I'm just going to throw it in up there and they're just going to swallow it. That's all it is. And then I'm going to set the hook. And that's just the way it works. So let's go get one. But every one of them takes it that far down their throat. The only thing I'm doing is I'm simply throwing this out. This does not have a lot of weight. Now, I'm throwing this with a real limber eight weight. But you can see the fight that that fish gives me. Okay. That's all it is. Okay, that little old four inch limb. One. Now why is this so much more effective than spin fishing? Well, if you're going to read, if you'll read Charlie Brewer's book on slider fishing, he calls it his do nothing method. All right, and in that method, what he's doing is nothing. He's actually he tells you to reel slower and slower and slower. Okay, that fast doesn't get it. Well, I happen to believe him. Now here's a man that's an expert. Okay, so I believe him. So I thought, well, the easiest way to do nothing is to take a fly rod in this stream like this and throw it out in the current and let the current do it. That way it looks like a piece of, of it looks like a food item floating right with the current. And basically I am dead drifting. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm dead drifting just like I did for trout. Over there lives a big old, big old fish. I've caught her several times. She's a dandy. She probably saw a moon to zoom, though. See over there in that rock pile? Okay, here we go. Here we go. There she is. Hope you're getting this. Here she is. Told you she'd be there. <laughs> there she is. Ain't this fun? Now she's got a male that lives here with her too, but down there, 
I guarantee you that zoom lizard takes her every time I come down here. Look at her. Oh, she's a pretty thing. I ought to name her. Ain't that a pretty small mouth? Huh? I bet I've caught her four times this year. Okay. Because I, I love to fish this spot. I know she's there. Oh, what a fish. Isn't that a pretty one? She always bites me real good. Oh, I love this. This is the best part right there. Isn't that nice? I love smallmouth. They're just beautiful. Go away, hon. That's the great thing about catch and release. You know, I've caught that fish four times. I've enjoyed her every time. If I had a kid along, just think how much he'd enjoy that. All right.